Hey guys, this is Leela here with this week's comic book reviews. First off, we've got Frank Frazetta's Swamp Demon. Uh, this is a one-shot that kind of acts as like a number zero prequel to Death Dealer. Uh, and it reveals some of the history between uh, Dreovid and Drazaka, um, as well as a first glimpse as the, of the, or the demonic druidic purge. Uh, I really like the story, and the art is beautiful. What can I say? Um, you know, stuff right based on Frazetta's, Frazetta's work is, is always awesome. So uh, if you're a fan, this is a really good one to pick up. I really enjoyed it. Next up, we've got Spike After the Fall number one. Uh, this story seems to be sort of like a backup to Angel, um, showing you how Spike and Illyria got along before meeting up with Angel again. Um, and basically, it's Illyria kicking ass and Spike providing witty commentary. Um, I think Lynch really per, uh, captures the tone of Spike, and I really I laughed out loud at some parts, and I really enjoyed the writing. Um, but the art's still not enjoyable for me, and we've talked about that before, so let's just move on. Next up, we've got Captain America number 40. You know how much I love Captain America, and this, awesome, this issue is just awesome. We've got the big fight between Cap and the Grand Director, as well as a big throwdown between Sharon and Sin. It's just awesome. It's nonstop fighting the whole book, which was really cool. And we also see a little kernel of what Faustus's next scheme might be, and it seems to involve Doctor Doom. So if you're not reading Cap, pick it up. It's really good. Hey folks, Jim here with this week's comic book reviews. First up, Transformers Reign of Starscream number three by Chris, Chris Mowry and Alex Milne. On Mars, Starscream and his troops try to repel an Autobot attack, and soon, back on Cybertron, a plan comes to fruition. Another good issue by Chris Mallory and Alex Mune. Uh, writing's getting better as the series goes along, and the art is as by Alex is fantastic as always. Next up, Sky Doll number three. In this finale, Noah must finally confront the truth of her past when Roy is hurt in an attempted religious coup. Um, if you're not reading Sky Doll, please go out and get it. This is the final issue, so it's not that much of an investment. Uh, beautiful art, beautiful story, pick it up. Next up, End Guard, number one. On, in this issue, by Jonathan Bryans and Phil Jackson, which was sent in by Marcosia. Thanks, Marcosia. Uh, a group of teenagers are chosen as new protectors and given powers to defeat a returning evil. Um, not bad for a first issue. Really nice color art. Phil Jackson's uh, line art is great, and the story is understated, but very good. So if you have a chance, pick it up. And last but not least, Transformer Spotlight Hardhead. In this issue, Hardhead and Nightbeat must return to a planet locked in Night's, Nightbeat's memory banks. But, when forced to, can Hardhead pull the trigger on Nightbeat? Um, not a bad issue, quite good story by Simon Furman, and the art's pretty good as well. If you're a Transformers fan, pick it up.